So the next stop in our design cycle would be go to our purchase and work orders. To create a new PO in Design Manager, we can right click and do new purchase order, or again, we can simply click the purchase work order button on the top toolbar. And this brings us to our new purchase order window. And now notice that we're seeing not the items themselves, the custom sofa in our case, but we're rather seeing those constituent components themselves. So we see the sofa frame from Century and the fabric and trim from Kravit. And just like the new proposal window, we're showing all of the components that we have not yet previously included on a purchase order. If I wanted to see all of those uh, previously ordered components, I could certainly do so with the show all option in the top right corner. To create a purchase order, we simply select the components that we want to order and click the OK button. And then Design Manager is going to generate our purchase orders for us. And it does so by including all the components for a particular vendor on the same purchase order. So we're going to have one purchase order for our frame from Century and a second from Kravit for our fabric and trim. And we can even add some additional information to the order itself at this point. So if we highlight our Kravit purchase order and click the Edit button as indicated by the pencil, we could change our shipping method from UPS to, well, I don't know, best way. I could input a ship on or before date. This is going to indicate to Kravit when I need the fabric and trim to be leaving their facility in order to keep myself on schedule. Let's go ahead and say the 27th of March. Designer phone or extension. As we saw, this is one of those project defaults that I had configured in the Carter's Pennington home, but we could also type that in manually here. I could put in my name and extension. So now this will appear directly in the header of the purchase order so that Kravit knows who to contact at the company about particular orders for this project. You can even put in a verbal reference number or even a description of the purchase order. So if I had called in the order to grab it and they gave me a reference number or a verbal uh, acknowledgement, I could enter that here. Or I could even enter in a little description about the order itself. Fabric trim for sofa. And lastly, I could even put some special instructions in at the purchase order level as well. Don't forget to ship to Century. And if we click OK, we can see how now we've updated our order information as well. If we click OK on the Generated Purchase Orders window, we're now going to have our print previews of our purchase orders. And here they are. And just like the proposal, a lot of the information is customizable. We're going to see our company information, our purchase order, number, title, date. <clears throat> we have Purchase Order 1 is going to go to Century. And recall that Century will be shipping the final custom sofa directly to the Carters. Purchase order number, my ship via, ship terms, and account. I can actually all pre-configure those from the Century Furniture Vendor themselves. In the body, we see our quantity and unit of measure, our component description. There's our catalog number that we entered, and even the side mark that Design Manager has automatically created for us so that our shipping or delivery team know precisely where to deliver the custom sofa when they reach the Carter's uh, Brigantine Beach House. We have our unit and extended costs, which are totaled in the bottom right corner. Recall that my terms with Century are they're going to require me to provide 50% of our order up front, so that's conveniently listed in the bottom left as well for both mine and Century's uh, reference and benefit. And we even have an optional signature and date at the bottom of the order so that I could sign it, date it, uh, and to authorize the, uh, the purchase order as being valid. If we click our next button, you can see our second purchase order. And this one's from Kravit. Notice here that we can see the contact information is being displayed since we entered that on the purchase order window. And we even have our purchase order description, fabric trim, for sofa also being listed. 
So this PO is going to be for Kravit, who's going to ship the fabric and trim to Century. Purchase order number, there's our ship by date that we entered, the ship via we've updated, terms and account come from the Kravit vendor. In the body, we have our quantity and unit of measure, descriptions, catalog numbers and side marks, and unit and extended costs for both the fabric and trim. We total those in the bottom right. Here's our special instructions that we entered. Note, I don't have any deposit and close being shown uh, on the Kravit purchase order as they don't require me to uh, uh, send any money up front. They'll just bill me upon completion. Again, from here, we can print out copies. We can email and export. Again, I'm going to use my print preview window to verify the accuracy of all of my work. Once it is to my satisfaction, we close the print preview window and accept the POs. And there they are. And these are the first two purchase orders for our Carter's Bring a Team Beach Home. Purchase order 001 for Century and 0002 for Kravit. And notice again, here is that description that I entered on the purchase order to make it very easily and, uh, discernible what that purchase order may include right on my documents and accounting window. 